here in this problem we want to calculate the potential difference between the points P and Q where P is here and Q is here assuming like this is a part of a circuit right it is given in the problem that the direction of the current flow it is given in the problem that the direction of the current flow is like this it is given for that you need not further worry about it right so assuming like point P is at a higher potential as the current is passing from the point P you can say potential at the point P minus uh, now the first thing that you get is this battery right do we have to treat this battery potential as positive or negative right so you are going in this direction when you are going in this direction first you are facing the positive plate of the battery and then the negative plate of the battery whenever you are going in a closed circuit first if you get a positive plate treat the TMF as negative that's a standard sign convention we have been talking about right and now the current is going in this way and you are also going in the same way so the potential drop across that is also negative minus i r i is 5 as given in the problem r is 2 and you are going in this way now you got again the positive plate of the battery treat that emf as a negative minus 10 you are going in this direction current is also going in the same direction treat that potential drop also as negative minus i r 5 into resistance is given as 6 again this potential drop is a negative because you are facing the positive plate of the battery first minus 5 is equal to we came to the end of that shall be the potential at the point Q because the algebraic sum of potentials shall be the same right or the sum of the potentials is equal to the sum of the potential drops EMF is equal to potential drops now let's simplify we at the point P minus 15 minus 10 minus 10 minus 30 minus 5 equal to vq so we have the point p 15 and 10 25 35 65 and 5 70 equal to vq vp minus vq is 70 volts so the problem is solved so we got that the potential difference between the two points is only 70 volts this is how we have to solve the problem right so we are assuming like point p has a potential greater than that of the point q and we have solved the problem if our assumption is wrong we could have been getting a negative answer then we can say point uh, potential at the point q is more than that of the point p so here we have assumed that potential at the point p is greater than point q and uh, as we got positive answer our assumption is correct that's how we can solve the problem right our assumption is correct right that's how we have to solve this kind of problems right thank you for watching